Hey everyone, so I went over to the dollar store and I saw these little crowbars. What if we created a dollar store grappling hook? Now this shouldn't be a problem considering these are made out of steel, but I also picked up some of this rope. This is basically just poly rope, which is in Chinese, actually recycled trash bags and grocery bags. Practical? Maybe not so, but in a survival situation, anything goes. Now I want to know what your favorite grappling hook is. Leave a comment below, I'm really curious. There is tons of material from Call of Duty to Overwatch. You have Black Widow. You also have the video game Terraria, which is kind of goofy. You're able to take random materials that you get from the defeated enemies like skeletons and piranhas and make a grappling hook. The recipe is actually three chains and one hook. The hook just like pops out of piranhas and like it's just by chance. So let's just take a step back from the fantasy world and bring it back into real life. This is all material that is mostly from the dollar store. The whole point of this channel is to hopefully inspire you to become more creative and actually discover that you have creative superpowers to be original, to think something that hasn't been thought before and bring it to life. Let's get on with the build. I gonna let her chitch. Dave, he is a dude at Hack Pittsburgh and he's helping me with our welding today. Yeah, dude, both the smaller ones the same way, then the big one, uh, the opposite. 
might work. useless but think about it you have the ability to hammer a nail as opposed to like using your palm you're that lazy <laughs> what can I say <laughs> What are you doing? There's just a random like thing already there. So that makes a lot of sense, Dave. The hoverboard should have enough strength to pull it over. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, let's try it from here. Do you want to try it? No. <laughs> Fifty foot rope. Now four foot. <laughs> yeah, really. Here, let me, let me get over here. Ah! He's broken. <sighs> We made a grappling hook out of, out of uh, crowbar, so we wanted to test it out. And what you sell it up? I want to be on World Star. <laughs> <laughs> what you sell it up for? What do you mean? To see if it works. Uh, those little spokes that they use on like electrical, you know, those little hooks that they come out. Go ahead and fry yourself. <laughs> Get a superhero on YouTube. Go ahead. You gotta swing it. Woo. it. Why don't you let her show you? <laughs> You wanna try it? No! You know how to do it, you're telling me? Oh! You're all better. <laughs> What's that? It's to break my hand, it's too tight. I wish this car to get by. Hi! I heard you were super here on YouTube. What's that? I heard you were super here on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it actually will hold my weight. Uh, okay. I got that. <laughs> yeah, that's... So, like, the theory will work. If I needed to swing from a cavern, <laughs> that will work. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we've proven the theory that it will work. And we can get it back. Dollar store grappling hook. Yes! If you have a welding equipment. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is what we, we risk here on YouTube. So yeah, we have this old chair. Pocalypse ready! But yeah, for real. Uh, you wanna make some trench clubs? He's like a 12 year old, ladies and gentlemen. Like a I feel like these are actually pretty solid. Like, like if someone handed me this and they're like, go kill zombies. We'll attack these. All right, so as you can see, the dollar store grappling hook did work, although I did not go 
unharmed. You can see some pretty gnarly blisters. So if I was gonna try this again, I'd probably see if dollar store gloves would actually protect you from rope burn. So maybe we should do a whole series where I can just check out dollar store items, see if they're worthy of an apocalypse situation. But I think this is pretty cool for a couple of bucks and some welding. Might be a good way to get involved and learn a couple new skills and then you get a couple new gadgets to carry around with you. If you like this, please leave a comment below and if you have any creations that you'd like to share with me, I am on Instagram and Twitter, so if you wanna go ahead and tag Greek Gadget Guru, I'd love to see all the different types of gadgets that you have. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and take it easy. Where is it written that all our dreams must be small? Ones?